is up everybody i hope you're doing well so today we'll be talking about the plucking hand so if you're interested in bettering your plucking hand please stick around till the end of the video let's go so your plucking hand is going to be very central to anything that you play on your bass. so it, it's going to influence the way that you you groove the way that you you improvise the way that you you play anything really um, so it's important to have some sort of um, ability and flexibility uh, on your on your plucking hand. So um, I'm going to be showing you a few exercises that will help you um, in that regard. So um, the first thing that you want to do find any point um, on your on your on your fretboard. So the the focus of the exercises are on the right hand or the plucking hand. Um, uh, so any point, uh, it, it doesn't matter. Just hold on to any note. So for instance, you can hold on to the to the F, right? Um, so the first thing that you want to do is that. Um, the second thing I think would be to have a metronome. So my metronome is on my phone. I'm using my phone to record. Um, I would have loved to, you know, to be using the metronome to show you guys. But yeah, have a metronome and find a speed that is that is moderate, that is comfortable. You don't want it to be too slow. Um, you don't want it to be too fast. So some, some, something somewhere in the middle, um, between 110 to 120, um, would be a good start. So the first exercise is, um, we're going to be playing on the one, we're going to be plucking on the one. So on your metronome, say you have, um, you have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So the way that we're going to be plucking, uh, we're going to be plucking, we're going to be playing on the one, uh, plucking on the one, interchanging our fingers. So that's some, that's something that's very important. A lot of people focus on one finger, um, which, which later dis, um, disadvantages them because um, there's a lot of things um, that require you to have, um, you know, the ability to play with two fingers. Um, there are certain things that I legit, I legit bet you that you, you cannot play them if you are still using one finger. So um, the, 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 the exercise is, is based around, you know, developing your, your mastery in both fingers. Uh, you can, you can, you can focus on the rest, but for this video, we're going to be doing two, right? So um, two fingers. So on the one, two, three, four, one two three four one two three four one two three so interchanging them like that like one two three four 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 one two three so you are busy interchanging the fingers the uh, index finger middle finger two three four index finger two three four middle finger two three four one two three four one. So after you've done that um we, we will move on so this one focused on the one so we're going to add the three of the same of the same time signature or the same tempo uh, so one two three four one two three four we're interchanging the fingers two three four one two three four so on the one one two on the three four one two on the three four the one two on the three four on the one two on the three four like one two three four 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 one two three the next one is uh, we're gonna we're gonna be playing the we're gonna be playing one two three four one two three four so you can see the inter the interchanging of the fingers four one two three four on the one on the two on the three on the four on the one on the two on the three on the four on the one on the two on the three on the four right so yeah let's let's try it out one two 
three. Let's go. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two, three, and four. So you can play that um, until you are comfortable with it. And then we move on to the to the four to the to the fourth um, exercise I have for you. Um, now we were doing the one, two, three, four, right? So one, two, three, four. The one that we're gonna be doing now is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Take note of the the, the count. One, two, three, four. It's one, two, three. Four, right one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight right one two three four five six seven eight so um the focus again is on the interchanging of the fingers you want to be going one one two three four five six seven eight 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 the the count is still going so that's why i said it's important to have your your metronome going so that it helps you um keep count of what you're doing and what you're playing two okay one two three four so one two three four five six seven eight 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 so again um you want to find um um a speed or a tempo um which is not too fast or that that doesn't challenge you like it's too slow that it doesn't challenge you so you want to find something that um that is just in between where you are able to play this you don't want to be uh, um chasing the, the the metronome but you want it to be in between also you don't want to be it doesn't want you should not be be bored while playing this this thing and it's too slow like one two three four now so find a place in between um that will that will help you um it be able to play uh this thing nice fifth and final um exercise i want to show you um still on the same uh, tempo one two three four one two three four it's almost like um a double down on the on the on the um the the last uh, exercise the fourth exercise so um remember the third one was one two three four then the fourth one was one two three four five six seven eight this one is it's almost like we're doing one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i it's just that i cannot count <laughs> i cannot count and keep uh and keep to the tempo let me just demonstrate it so one two three Four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. I'll be counting with my foot so that um, I play. Uh, I can't play and count at the same time. One, two, three, four. Yeah. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. Right. So there you have it. We have um, five exercises. Is it five? Yeah. We have five exercises um, uh, within the same time signature. So this will help you to develop that um, flexibility in terms of intercha interchanging your, your fingers. Um, interchanging. <laughs> anyway, um, so that will help you in terms of you know, interchanging your fingers um and alternating alternating um so you need that alternation if you're going to develop um your your you know your speed um and and develop your ability to to play a, a lot of things on your on your on your on your, your 
on your surfboard. Yeah. So something like that. So you want you want to have that um, because there are certain things that would require you to have um, just two hands. Um, for instance, um, uh, while on the same key, we'll be using F. So. man i can bet you uh, any amount you would not be able to play that because it requires you know um both both hands um to be able to be able to do that right so again just going back to our exercises um just a recap we focused on the on the one we focused on the one and the three we focused on the one two three four we did the one two three four five six seven eight then lastly we did the one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 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 so a, a nice way to 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 practice these things um is to leave the the metronome on um you know just leave the count three one two three four just leave it on then challenge yourself to to interchange those um um, um exercises just alternate between them so maybe start from the one end from the from the fifth uh, the fifth one then come back down or just mix them up somehow so something like this one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four take it up one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four one two no, no, no. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Take it up. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two, three. Take it up. Say one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, so yeah, that that's probably not my best uh, playing yet. Um, but yeah, that's why it's important to have a metronome. So if you have a metronome, it's going to help you. Um, it's going to be um, strict on you so that you stay within time. So having to say out the notes and play at the same time is something else. So have a metronome. Um, on hand, um, it's going to help you stay on track and help you stay on time. Then that's what you want to do. Just variate them. Start on the one, end on the last one, take the fifth one, put it on the second one, take the third one, just mix them all up. Um, yeah, so I think just, um, just we're done with the, with, the, with, the, with the exercises. But um, just the last, um, I just have a few tips for you. Um, the, the important thing is, is accuracy over speed so it's not about being fast it's about making sure that whatever you're playing is clear so that's why you I, I've, I've mentioned a few times that find a, a, a place like find a tempo which is moderate for you like something in between not too fast yet not too slow so it's not about being fast so some people want to daka, 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 daka. Mm. Um, you don't build speed like that um, you you know you, you develop it over time but you also, you want to build speed at the same time. You also want to, to be precise and to be accurate in whatever you're playing. You want to have a clean and clearer playing. Um, the second thing is that, you know, 
the metronome is your friend um, and all your, your exercises, your practices and all that, um, I would highly, highly recommend that you use a metronome. Uh, you can download one from, you know, your, 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 your app store. Um, just type out metronome and, you know, just, just uh, have at it. But I, I believe that it helps um, in terms of building your, 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 what, your durability, as well as building that concept of time, uh, like in you. There are certain people who, who play very well and they play nice. They have, you know, they're very proper. Um, but the problem is that they, they are not consistent. So as you, you practice with the metronome, it helps you develop that consistency in you so that you, you, you are able to stay on, on, on time. Um, so as you practice in your al alone time, uh, it's, it's fine. You can get away with a lot. But if you are going to, to, to now be in a group setting, um, people can tell that you're dragging. Some people just drag or like um, they fluctuate the, the, the tempo. They are too fast and, and stuff like that. So you don't want to do that. And the way to avoid that is to use a, a metronome. Um, just practice with the metronome. Um, it's going to help you. So uh, another thing that the metronome can do, it will help you develop a, a certain dynamic to your play. Um, just a nice dynamic to it because you'll learn that even... Even though you are within time, you can play around with the different time signatures. So in as much as you're on the one, two, three, four, you can do daga 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 But we're still on one, two, and the three, and the four. One and the two and the three and the four. Daga 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 daga. But we're still on the same time signature. So that helps uh add into your music vocab. Um, a certain dynamic and uh, that's nice so even in your grooving even in your soloing um, it will come out um, as being very nice you, you, you see um, so that's what you want to do so yeah um, yeah so number one it's prioritize accuracy over speed number two the metronome is your, is your friend uh, practice with the metronome um yeah do that so the last thing I would add is that when you do these exercises um don't 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 do them on a on a on a on a on a, on a bass amp or a guitar amp or whatever um do them with the bass just unplugged like just um uh, just your bass just do them on on the bass without uh, without plugging it in and play aloud play as hard as you can um um without without having plugged it onto an amp so that would also help you to have to develop a certain um you know um, um, intensiveness to your play. So if you're able to play, if you're able to play as like that, um, it's going to help. So some people like rely on their, on their amps for, 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 for tone, for volume and stuff. Um, you know, but there are some people who, you know, if you were playing and they grab that the, the, the same bass, they would have to reduce the volume because they are able to, to control their own volume, their own intensity, their own tone and stuff like that. So do the exercises without do these exercises without having plugged the amp. Just just um you know just um play without without having um having an amp. It's going to help you develop um your 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 intensity intensity intense intensity <laughs> intensivity yeah intensity um so yeah that's just about it please do like subscribe share do all those nice things and i think i'm gonna see you on the next video um if you have any comments if you want me to focus on a certain topic do leave a comment down below and yeah see you on the next one bye